On a day-to-day -day basis, Davy's main difficulty is that he's so literal in his language. If someone tells him he's hurt their feelings, he'll say, well, I haven't touched your hands. It's obvious if he doesn't like someone and he can't deal with unstructured crowds. So in school, he'd go into assembly because they're all lined up and go in a particular order. But playtimes and dinner times, he just can't cope because they're all running around everywhere. I went to my GP in the end. Davy had been referred to the child development team and he'd also been assessed by the educational psychologist. But I just didn't think the process was quick enough. I thought myself that Davy had profound problems that were more than just difficult behaviour. I wasn't saying that he had Asperger's. I was just saying he has no empathy. He has no friends. He's not socialising. And the doctor made up his own mind and said, I think we need a referral to psychiatry which was a great relief to me because I'd been feeling as though I'd failed and it was so hard to come and ask for help. That was about 18 months ago and then we waited four months to see someone. It's hard with other parents sometimes because there's still a stigma and I know if I say I've got a psychiatry appointment for my son, the horror on their faces. And yet it's the best thing I ever did for both of us. Things have moved on phenomenally since our first appointment. Now that I understand, and school understands, Davy is being properly supported. I've been lucky that in our case, health and education have spoken to each other, and all the information has gone to the school. As a parent, I've realised that to manage Davy's behaviour, I have to manage our environment and my behaviour first. The specialist helped me because she said very early on that there's no magic cure, there are no pills, all she could give me was advice. It's helped me accept things the way they are, and look positively at Davy's diagnosis, and his future. I think that if more health information went into schools it would help, because they still seem to want to make an Asperger's child normal, and they use all these strategies and expect a normal outcome. I have to keep repeating that Davy is never going to be normal. He is never going to make the desired outcome. And I know that's why I'm probably a lot happier than other parents, because I'm more realistic. It's still hard. I have no social life outside of school hours because I can't. I won't leave him with anyone else because he's difficult to manage, so I have no life of my own at all, really. I'd like to go to autistic meetings and to meet other parents, but getting out is really difficult. I've started a happy book with Davy, so no matter what's gone on that day, we spend a little bit of time putting down all the good things that have happened and celebrate the happy times. It's good for both of us.